one of the great things about open house is the ride-in bike show and it's awesome because of bikes like this this little like small framed evo here with uh, it's got a supercharger setup on it and dual Weber's Springer front end, incredible paint, nice little belt drive. I mean, just tons of detail on this. The pipe, even though how the, the pipe hangers, I guess you'd call them, coming up and over, and then just the tail lights. Bike like this, bikes like this are just one of the things you're gonna see just walking around here. Um, invader wheels, just, just a trick bike from front to back. So this blue bagger jumped out at me and the other little supercharged Evo um, that we've seen, this bike is also built by the same guy, Gilby's. It looks like out of Wisconsin, and this is like a bagger, but it's got all kinds of molding work, and like that big piece coming down in front of the motor, and the molded in uh, Speedo here. Looks like a dual uh, Makuni setup, round bar uh, floorboards that he made, and just all kinds of cra crazy molding. Just a, a really trick bike, really grabs your attention when you walk by it. So if you've been around any kind of rallies or the motorcycle scene, you've probably seen this gentleman here. This is Brad Gregory. He's a fellow Iowan. This is his bulletproof death machine. He rides this bike all over the place. It may not look like it, but he definitely does. This bike has a ton of miles on it. It goes all over the country to rallies, and it's just a Buell power plant in a custom frame, uh, just one-off sheet metal tank. He's got all kinds of little tricks here, but it's definitely functional. Brad rides it all over the place. We'd love to see that. Custom bikes that get ridden. As much as we love customized and modified bikes, we also like bikes that have stood the test of time. And this shovelhead bagger, I'm not sure what year it is, but it is perfection. It looks pretty much stock and it is in just the best shape, like when it rolled off the showroom floor shape, but obviously it gets ridden. He wrote it here, this is a ride-in bike show. This is um, a bike that needs to be shown, but has actually never had a, looks like an aftermarket part put on it. Something you don't see as much as you used to are customized soft tails. And kind of when the baggers came in, the soft tails kind of seemed to fade a little bit. This looks like it used to be a fat boy, and it is really slick, man. Stretch tanks. I don't know if this is that dipped graphic on the paint or not. Whoever did it did a killer job. Ton of chrome, and the bar and riser setup is just super clean. It's just a really well done soft tail, really kind of gangster looking bike. Um, well done. We don't really discriminate here. If you can ride it here, you can put it in the show. Uh, got a little mini bike here. He's got a Springer front end, billet tree. Looks like a hundred spoke wheel in the front. He's got a nice little intake there and a custom seat. A um, little bit of everything here. Obviously, a couple of big wheel baggers here in the show. This one jumped out because one, the paint's incredible, but it's got like a cool T-bar set up, a 30 on the front. It's got a set of nest legs on it with a dual brake set up on the left side. Really cleans up the right side of that. Um, just kind of flows on back with the white speakers, stretched way out back here, a nice little bit of airbrushing on the back. If you're into big wheel custom baggers, this is your thing for sure. This gentleman is actually a furniture maker. This is his first attempt at building a bike. You can see all the woodwork on it. It's pretty awesome. It's actually powered from a motor he got for 50 bucks out of a 96 Geo Metro. So it just goes to show you, you can use about anything you want and turn it into a motorcycle. He did a wonderful job. Um, Fab works really good and the woodwork it just kind of adds all these like little nuances that you don't normally see with a motorcycle or a trike for that matter. Really cool build. One of the great things about open house is you can bring your own personal bike here and showcase it in the ride-in bike show. If your bike's not in the show, at least you can come check out all these awesome bikes.